Hi everybody and a Merry Christmas to you. Um, um, I know it's only like this thing's December 6th, December 7th, uh, but I decided to do a five part video sequence for an advent calendar. So instead of doing 25 days, meaning 25 videos for you guys, I'm only going to do five videos, uh, save you guys a little bit of a headache there. Um, and so today I'm going to be, I will be doing days December 1st through December 5th. And what they are is it's a crystal advent calendar. So I'll be showing you the crystals from day to day and just explaining them. Um, and yeah. So, all right. So day one. All right. Day one is rose quartz, which symbolizes love. It, it opens your heart. It is a stone of unconditional love. It opens the heart chakra to all forms of love, meaning self-love, family love, platonic love, and romantic love. It has excellent protection energies during pregnancy and childbirth. The elevated energy of quartz gives rose quartz a property of enhancing love in virtually any situation. It also brings gentleness, forgiveness, and tolerance. It's all it's associated with the heart chakra as well. If you didn't catch that before. Um, and basically, I'm just going to show you some rose quartz that I have here. My favorite piece. I I like the raw rose quartz feel. This is raw rose quartz. And basically, I'm just gonna so for each crystal that I'm going to show you, I'm going to hold it for. 10 seconds, close my eyes. I know it's gonna look really weird. I'm just gonna tell you how it makes me feel, okay? And immediately, so I'm, I'm a huge empath and I can really feel crystals and things like that. And a lot of people, a lot of people do have a hard time feeling rose quartz, but I can feel it. It's, it's calming. It makes my hand just feel good. You know, I don't know how to explain it to you guys. It just also makes me in a good mood too. So if you want to be in a good mood, you want to open yourself up to love, rose quartz is for you. And then here are the other rose quartz I have. I just have them all in a bag right now because I don't feel like taking them all out. But <clears throat> that is day one, and that is rose quartz. All right, so let's go to day two. Let's see what day two is. Ah! Day two. Day two is amethyst, and amethyst is one of my favorite stones, and you're going to see in a minute why I say that. Um, well, for this video, I got all of my, you know, stones that I have together of the same type, you know, amethyst together, all the rose quartz together, and all the other ones all together. Um, but I realized I have a lot of amethyst, more than I have any other stone, and I thought my favorite stone was Herkimer Diamond, which it is reason why I don't have any more is because it's so expensive but um yeah I have a lot of amethyst so let's get into it <clears throat> all right so basically amethyst is it gives you spiritual awareness and inner peace and positive transformation it's a sobriety stone and a natural tranquilizer three words to always remember with amethyst is love peace and calm so basically So basically, um, it's a sobriety stone. It protects against psychic attacks and transmuting in the energy into love. It is a natural tranquilizer. It relieves stress and strain, soothes irritability. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Balances mood swings, and it also dispels anger, rage, fear, and anxiety. It alleviates sadness, grief, and dissolves negativity. It activates spiritual awareness, opens intuition, and enhances psychic abilities. It strengthens the immune system and strengthens the body to fight against cancer. It eases headaches and releases tension. Amethyst heals diseases of the lungs and respiratory tract, skin conditions, cellular disorders, and diseases of the digestive tract. 
protects babies from energies outside the womb, and it destroys malignant tumors and aids in tissue regeneration. It also helps your pet with separation anxiety. Now, this is all from a card, but it is all true because I have felt these things. Amethyst is very protective. Um, and if you want to know the zodiac for um, amethyst, it's uh, Aquarius, Pisces, Aries, and Sagittarius. But honestly, anyone can use these stones. It to me, it doesn't matter if it's for your zodiac or not. All right, anyway. Um, I'm going to show you guys my favorite amethyst. Now, this isn't a true amethyst. This is a smoky amethyst. But it is my absolute, one of my second favorite piece, crystal piece that I own. Um, it's a smoky amethyst. Um, I don't know, my, my, my camera can't really catch this, but it has rainbows in it. And it has these beautiful ridges. It kind of looks like an angel to me. I don't know. It... I fall asleep with this in my hands. It just feels amazing. But that's not why we're here today. We're here today for amethyst. So let me show you some more amethyst that I have. Which is kind of out of control. Here, I'll just show you um, the piece of amethyst I've had ever since I was little. And it's a raw piece of amethyst. I've had this ever since I was a little girl. Even though I look like a little girl. <laughs> Anyway, um, but yeah, that's amethyst, and then I have a bunch more in here, as you can see. I have bracelets, I have pendants, rings, you name it, because it just it calms me down. Um, at, at work, on my desk, I have an amethyst tree, because, you know, customer service can sometimes be a little stressful, so my amethyst tree, some, you know, is there to calm me down. All right, let's go to the next one, day three. This away. Day three. Day three is pyrite, and I love pyrite so 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 much. Because okay, so I don't even I'm not even gonna start to read off the card for for you guys because to me pyrite is like a shield. All your negative energy can stop right here for me. As long as I have pyrite near me, you can't hurt me. Your spiritual energies can't hurt me. To me, pyrite is very important for empaths. Um, when I used to work, you know, physical customer service. So I work on phones now, but um, I used to work, um, <coughs> excuse me, at a customer service desk. And whenever I would have my pyrite on me, I would just, I just literally, it felt like there was a shield and nothing, nothing could get through it. So let's get into it. Um, I don't have my favorite piece of pyrite with me because uh, it's honestly on my desk at work. But basically, um, um, it's, it's, it's my, my favorite piece of pyrite. It's, it's not that big. I really would love a big piece, but it's, it's shaped like a heart kind of. Oh. So amazing, has amazing chunks on it. But basically, this is the pyrite that came with my um, advent calendar. They call it fool's gold, okay? Um, so like when you go mine for gold when you're like a little kid in Arizona, this is the stuff you get. This is pyrite. It, it's still valuable stuff, and I didn't know that when I was younger. All right, so basically. It symbolizes strong. It's a shield, like I said. It's a shield. That's what I. That's what how I see it. It's like a. You can't hurt me. So it's all about keeping you strong and stable, and all, ever free from the shackles of control. It seems to have an intuitive quality that works to keep you out of harm's way, both spiritually and emotionally. Excuse me. It is also a stone that inspires creativity and brings a dash of added sparkle because, I mean, hey, it's fool's gold. So sparkly. So, so cool. All right. That is pyrite. All right. So the next, let's go to day four. Day four. Is that? Okay. Day four. 
Forest Picture Jasper, um, which, you know, re resembles Earth. I'm not very familiar with Picture Jasper. This is my first piece of Picture Jasper that came with this kit, and honestly, I couldn't be happier. Hey, it's introducing me to new stones. That's very exciting. Um, so I looked it up, and I'm like, because, you know, obviously, Jasper has same qualities, but this is called Picture Jasper. What the heck is this, you know? Looks like okay so basically um so basically what it is is among practitioners of gemstone healing picture jasper is a powerful grounding stone if you don't know what a grounding stone is okay so basically what i'm wearing right here this is a grounding stone this is obsidian and grounding stone it makes you feel like you're closer to the ground you're not as spacey you don't feel like a space cadet you're more you're more with it, you know what I mean? You're more grounded to the earth. So it's a powerful grounding stone that promotes connection to the earth, which I, I need that sometimes. Some people view this stone as a direct message from the earth itself. Um, instilling a sense of proportion, bringing comfort, alleviating fear, and cultivating harmony. Interesting. Um, maybe I should go... Maybe I should go over to my crystal shop and look into this. Let's see how it makes me feel. Okay. <clears throat> the left hand is your receiving hand when you are to feel crystals. So I'm gonna you place it in my hand, close it, just close your eyes and see how it makes you feel. Wow, that is severely grounding. I, I'm not even making any of this up. I wish I was. That made me feel very calm. I think I'm going to go buy some more of this. All right, let's go to the last day. I think you guys are tired of me. I know I'm tired of hearing me. All right, day five. Day five is lipidolite. I can never say that one right, ever. But basically, it means no worries. No worries for the rest of your days. Okay. I love this stone so much. It basically, it's a, they say if you have insomnia, this is the stone for you to, you know, help you get to bed. And so when I heard that, because, like, I have trouble getting to bed sometimes. I don't have insomnia, but... I have trouble getting to bed, you know, like anyone else. Oh, I'm going to show you them first before I get into it. Okay, so this is my bracelet. I bought, I bought a bracelet finally. And, oh my god, it feels so good. When I put it on my wrist, I got it tied enough to where, like, it kind of, like, tightens on my wrist enough so I can really feel the stones. And it just literally makes my whole arm just feel like, you know, just so good. Just so calm. Um, and then this is the one that I sleep with every night. Um, it's a raw piece of lipidolite. Again, I'm probably not saying it right, and I know I'm not. So, don't correct me in the comments. Just call it a Mandyism, okay? It's just how I say words. Anyway, this is lip my mine. Oh, so cool. And then I got one that came up. That came, I got one that came with my kit. Since this is a polished one, be cool. So yeah, let's uh, learn some more about it. So three things about it is transition, awareness, and emotional balance. It gently induces change and facilitates astral travel and access to Akashic, Akashic records. I cannot talk today. I'm sorry. Akashic records. Um, and it supports the release of addictions. And it's also very soothing, which it is. All right. So basically, assists in the release and reorganization of old behavioral and psychological patterns gently inducing change it brings deep emotional healing soothing and reducing stress and depression facilitates al astral 
travel and it accesses the Akashic Records. Lipidiolite aids in overcoming any kind of emotional or mental dependency, supporting in the release of addictions and complaints of all kinds, including anorexia. It <clears throat> excuse me, clears electromagnetic pollution, strengthens the immune system, soothes the nervous system, and can be used to restructure DNA. It also relieves exhaustion and aids in the relief of tension and related disorders. It can re relieve allergies and greatly help with epilepsy and Alzheimer's. It numbs it numbs it numbs joint problems basically. So all those things I said, it, it didn't even mention the insomnia part, but that's the whole reason why I got this stone. So Basically, I'm just going to hold it, and I'm going to tell you guys how I feel, okay? Not what that stupid card says. But all that is, all that is true, but, you know, okay. Immediately, I'm relaxed. I don't even want to let go. Oh my god, this stone is so powerful. I love it so much. So, I'll be doing four more of these videos. <clears throat> which means 20 more stones. Um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to, uh, to know any more about the crystals or any more information that I need to include, please put that in the comments and please be nice. Thank you guys. Bye.